Good morning from Meteora, Greece. From Athens, we took a four-hour train ride over to Kalambaka, which is the city that resides at the bottom of Meteora. And today, we're going to go and discover the monasteries that sit at the top of these dramatic, enormous stone mountains. Here in Meteora, there are a number of different ways you can explore the place. You can go hiking, you can go biking, you can even rent a car. But I do believe we have found the coolest way, and that is to ride a moped through all of the different roads that are here. And we're gonna go and pick up some mopeds now. I do wanna quickly say my parents are joining us here in Greece, which is very convenient because they're from Taiwan. They spent their entire childhood on mopeds, so they know how to ride these things real good. And maybe they'll give Chad some pointers. So. Let's Hopefully, go to the shop. need all of them. <laughs> all right, we've got our mopeds. <laughs> How are you feeling, Chad? A little bit nervous. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. They're gonna take it for a test drive. See how it works. <laughs> Ready to take your wife along? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Why not? All right, do I go on first? Yeah, go ahead. And you'll put your feet right there. Yes, I have my little foot spot. I should probably put this down. just made it to one of the nunneries. Of course, we have to dress appropriately, so the women have to wear long skirts, and then also the men have to wear long trousers. So um, I brought my own scarf so I could tie it around my waist, and now we're ready to go in. We have made it to Rosenu. I might be saying that wrong, but this is one of seven monasteries that are on Meteora, and it either costs three euros or five euros to get in, depending on which one you decide to come into. And then also, there's one that's closed every single day of the week, so you might want to research before coming up here, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So all of these monasteries were built high up on these rocks because they wanted to be away from society and they wanted to be closer to God. That's why it's closer to the sky. And apparently back in the day, I believe they started building these in the 11th and 12th century, but there used to be 30 different monasteries and you can actually see some ruins on some of these hilltops, which I think is really cool because it shows the history of this place. They used to have these really long ladders that would allow them to access these monasteries as well as like a series of pulleys and levers to get things up to them because they were so hard to access. Our first stop was a grand success and we are now hiking back down to meet back up with our mopeds and we're gonna hop on and go to the next place. Two little mopeds. I love that they're red. <laughs> we have made it to the Great Meteorian. This is the grandest and biggest one of all the monasteries here in Meteora. This place is actually reminding me very much of the animated movie Hercules, which I did watch growing up. Because I watched it so much as a kid, I actually always envisioned Greece to look like this with these grand mountains and you know these little temples at the very top of them. And so it's just so cool to be able to finally see it in person. We've been walking around the monastery for quite some time and we just went through the museum and I think one of the most striking pieces to me was this fabric that was from 400 years ago. So the history of this place is crazy, but I think it's cool how they've been able to preserve it so well throughout the years. It was also a part of the monastery that housed writings that they their had books. from way back then. So yeah. you saw their journals, um, anything that they documented, even their fashion yes, items. Their apparel. <laughs> so that was just very cool to witness. Yeah. And one more thing, I do believe it is very peaceful up here. Lots mm -hmm. of solitude. Aside from the tourists, you can only hear the birds chirping yeah. and the breeze coming in and out of this place. So. I wouldn't mind living up here myself. No, not at all. <laughs> I 
I honestly do think that the best way to see Meteora is through the moped. I've never been so happy and we're having like the best day of our lives. And we actually found this place from our Airbnb host. She recommended a local company called Hobby Shop and they've got electric bikes, mopeds, ATVs, anything you wanna ride around in. And we decided to go with the moped and it actually was very affordable. It was 25 euros for 24 hours. So we can have it all the way till the next day. And it's just been really convenient being able to pull over and park anywhere because I have noticed that parking is very difficult here and it's jam-packed with tour buses, lots of cars. So if you do rent a car, um, make sure you think about that. So honestly, save yourself the time and the energy and just get yourself a moped. <laughs> <laughs> we love them. We love it. And I feel very cool wearing my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Similar to Turkey and Egypt, Greece has so many cats just running around. <laughs> What a day. Ugh. This helmet's very snug. It's hard to get off. <laughs> After a long day out in the sun, we are back at our Airbnb cooling off and we are about to have a very late lunch slash early dinner. We kind of skipped out on lunch, so it's kind of combining both in one. And we did notice that the squid here is extremely cheap compared to the US. And so we bought some and we're going to be having a little squid dinner um, along with some other items. I think there's only one way to end our wild day here in Meteora before coming back and gazing up at the stars, and that is to go on a sunset ride. So we're gonna hop back on our mopeds and take them out for a spin. I think it's funny because my helmet is so snug that when I smile, it like kind of <laughs> pinches my cheeks in. <laughs> We just did a moped tour through all of Meteora and we ended it at a local sunset spot and it was gorgeous and the skyline is just fantastic. I love seeing the rolling hills. Anyways, now we're gonna make one final stop, go pick up some bread and then go return the mopeds. One of those places where I felt so small in a world so big and what a time it was to be here. I must say Claire was totally right about these mopeds. Actually I think your mom suggested it first, right? <laughs> yeah, when she first saw it she was like, oh my gosh this reminds me of my youth. Yes. <laughs> and that is exactly like what all four of us felt today. Yeah. We just felt very free, like we were flying yes. through the mountains and Absolutely. it was so magical. It was so fun. <laughs> like the stones were just gigantic. I honestly felt like I was on another planet. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just felt like a kid again. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, we will be linking where we got our moped down in the description box as well as our Airbnb because both of those things have been amazing for our stay here in Meteora. Yeah, so with that, we're gonna end it here. If you'd like to follow along on our journey to 50 countries around the world, hit subscribe. And if you'd like to see some behind the scenes content and some more updates, uh, join us on Patreon. And with that, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye.